So I'm here to talk to you a little bit about um, software analytics for performance nerds. And, and what that really means, um, it helps to kind of take a step back and first know what New Relic is. And so briefly, if you haven't heard of New Relic, we're a uh, software analytics provider, meaning we give um, information to our customers about how their software works. Um, Predominantly, we've been focused on performance, so that's why we've been at these conferences. Uh, I've personally been here, uh, part of New Relic and other companies for the last six years, and it's been fantastic. Uh, but we also give information now around um, other kinds of performance, not just this timing kind of stuff, but business performance. And that's what I really want to talk about, is how you can marry those two worlds. And it helps by looking at kind of the things you've learned at Velocity, either this year or in previous years. And I'm not going to be able to go through all these in the amount of time we have, but we just learned, for example, from Eric, that compression can even be extended even further than you probably thought. Um, and those are the kind of great lessons that I've been learning over the last six years. But probably the number one lesson that I learned was that averages can be really, really misleading. And so what I wanted to share with you was a little bit of personal experiences that we've had at New Relic with this curve. So this is a uh, histogram representing page load times. Um, and what you can see here is that, you know, the average is somewhere around two seconds, and there's a long tail of, of slower load times. So this is pretty common. And what you know when you look at it is you've got a lot of happy customers, a few kind of middling customers, and some really upset customers. And you usually just say, well, let's get as many as we can into that happy state, and, and the few ones on the long tail, you know, that's just kind of weird anomalies on the Internet, and we, there's, there's minimal we can do there. But there's a problem. The problem is what if this is your business, and those customers are the ones that pay you the most money. This is not uncommon. This is a problem New Relic wrestles with. We actually have the slowest performance for our most expensive customers because they stress our system. So we're constantly working to look at those customers, the long tail, not the ones there, and push them back into the best performance categories. This is really common with SaaS platforms. Um, but it's not just for SaaS platforms. Uh, what if you're an e-commerce site and you offer three methods of shipping and if you look through the this kind of dimension, what you'll find is that maybe some shipping provider APIs are faster than others. And UPS, in this example, this is totally fictional, by the way, they might, uh, um, you know, maybe UPS is really slow, but the postal service is really fast. Well, what can you do about that? You know, I can't make UPS faster. No, but the business can decide we're not going to offer that as a shipping method anymore if it causes too much slowdown for the customer. Or similarly, e-commerce site, you could say checking out is actually, you might find that checking out is slow. Well, it's great if viewing, image, viewing items is fast, but if you can't buy them, that's a real problem. Um, and in fact, there's a whole talk about this a few years ago by a gentleman up here on this very stage. I encourage you all to go and watch this. It's a great 20-minute talk. But the moral of the story is really that data has so many dimensions to it, it's often hard to track it all. Um, this is one of the best presentations that's probably ever been displayed by Charles Menard. Um, it was a diagram showing Napoleon's march to Moscow, and, and John Rouser show, talks about this one in his talk. But there's seven dimensions captured in this visualization. Unfortunately, most of us don't have the time or skill to produce seven dimensions and look at, look at data through all these different angles. And often, those, da those data dimensions are actually slipping through our fingers. We're looking at, uh, you know, users are interacting with your application, and unless you're actually capturing all the attributes that you want to look at it through, you're not actually going to be able to analyze it after the fact. So what do we do about this? Well, that's where New Relic comes in. We've created a brand new product called New Relic Insights. Uh, this is where the mandatory pitch comes in. And we capture every single interaction in, in the browser, on the back-end server, and we allow you to annotate additional attributes that are specific to your business and then query it in a super fast uh, query language. The results are these really amazing graphs, but more importantly, you can iterate and query and query again and keep asking more questions and slicing and dicing by different dimensions. And we think we've really helped bring in that business priority and performance priority and marry them to the two together. So hopefully you get a chance to check it out, and thank you very much.